Okay, so I had some trolls coming after me, <laughs> as usual, uh, about my opinion about that little piece of shit that basically got off scot-free. Not even probation. He, nothing. His gun wasn't even taken away, I don't think. He had a total full-blown assault rifle, and that wasn't taken from him. This is America. This is where we live. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. It, it definitely reminds me of the George Zimmerman case and many other cases like it where someone just got off. Um, he thought that it was his duty and job. He thought he was like a cop or something. Special forces. I don't know. But he went to this building that was burned out. It was already burned. It was out, whatever. And he was standing in front of it like like he owned the place or that he was hired to do this and his mommy drove him there like I said before I think at least she should get in trouble for something I don't know or at least he could have gotten busted for having the gun that he had illegally I mean he didn't have it I don't know where he even got it but from what I understand he wasn't supposed to have that gun that wasn't whatever okay so he's 17 years old he wasn't allowed to drink yet. Um, vote. I went through a list. But he's allowed to go and kill two people. And everyone keeps bringing up all the trolls. All the Trump supporting losers. I'm sorry, but you're losers. You lost. You lost. Get over it. Um, Trump has lied to you and fucked with their heads so badly that you don't even know what's real and what's not anymore. And it's really sad. Ugh. Over 600,000 people would not be dead today if it wasn't for Trump. And that's going to come out later. But we know, we know that he was trying to deter people away from getting the shot. And then he got the shot himself. But then he's like, get the shot. It's but let's not even get into the coronavirus because let I could go from the beginning to the end and show you how many how many things that Trump said to deter his own people from getting help or being healthy or not getting it and not dying. So many people died under his watch. Okay, so little bitch Kyle Rittenhouse um just gets to go on with his life. And so all the Republicans that are afraid of Trump because they're being blackmailed or bribed or threatened, I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of reports coming out that they are in fact being either paid off or blackmailed. So that's gonna come out eventually too. And you guys are gonna feel stupid. All of you are gonna feel so fucking stupid. But, and in history, what are you gonna look like in history? That You know, what, just like with the Nazis, how it doesn't even matter that they turned against, you know, Nazism and they were denazified because they were the only way they could not get expelled from their own country, basically, uh, was to be denazified, you know, or get charged per se. So, um, that's you guys, that's what's going to happen to my trolls. People are going to look at you and go, I want nothing to do with you. You're absolutely insane. Look at all this evidence. And we already have so much evidence of so many things. And you're still, you're still on it. Okay, so Kyle Rittenhouse is like a hero to you guys. And, um, yeah, this little punk, this little bitch that played video games and never got laid. That's you. That's you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Kyle Rittenhouse doesn't get in trouble for any of it. He just gets acquitted. That's that. That's the new America. That's always been America. If that was a black kid, he would have been shot a hundred or so times. And if he wasn't killed, he would be in jail for the rest of his life. But the Trump supporters would be calling for his execution for sure. Oh, there'd be a lynch mob. Totally. A, a Trumpy, orange, fat, disgusting lynch mob of assholes um, surrounding the building at his trial. I mean, it's, it's too much. It's too much. So yeah, so the lesson here is that you could take the law into your own hands and you could go and kill whoever the fuck you want as long as you're white. 
Yeah, as long as you're white and you're a Trump supporter. Yeah, you have to be a Trump supporter too. Mm -hmm. You have to have some type of Trumpy bullshit going on in your head. Some crazy ass Kool-Aid, hallucinating, alternative reality kind of shit. Twilight Zone. Yeah, that kind of stuff. All right, so that's what we got. And it does not, okay, let me just say this. It does not matter who he killed and what their history was. If there was sexual abuse, if there was rape, whatever. He did not know that when he shot them. He didn't know. He didn't know who he was shooting. He didn't care. He felt threatened by a bag being thrown at him. That's what happened. He was with the gun when the other wasn't. The guy threw a bag at him, I think. And there was some shot over here. There's somebody shot something. Over, another person like him, a vigilante, who thinks that they were meant to be there. God sent them there. Or Trump sent them there because they think Trump's God. Um, yeah. So doesn't matter doesn't matter what they did i don't give a fuck who the, what their past is you know what let the law deal with them but he's not the law he's just some kid that plays video games and uh jerks off to fantasizing about killing people he's nothing he's just a little punk and his mom should be held accountable for something that bothers me and so, yeah, you guys could go on and on about, oh, yeah, you don't know shit. You can't change stupid and did it. Yeah, you're right. You can't change stupid. You guys are stupid and you can't change that. Uh, you can't change. You could change ignorance. Actually, you can by education. But Trump supporters don't want to be educated. So um, fuck Trump supporters. You guys are going to go down in history as some of the dumbest motherfuckers that ever lived. Ever. And you're not the majority. Think about how many people... Uh, storm the Capitol. There was 10,000 total. Uh, think about all the marches uh, that the majority have had in the last six years. All the marches, protests, what have you. Thousands upon thousands. Like 50, 100, a million. The million women march. And that, that caught on all over the, the world. Millions of women marched. But 10,000 people show up at the Capitol and suddenly it's like, oh, there were so many people there. They're the majority. No, they're not. They're not. Think about Black Lives Matters and all the nonviolent, peaceful protests that went on all over the country. Um, sometimes the world. Peaceful. Millions, millions of people showed up. So 10,000 losers that pretty much, I think at least half of them are paid. At least half, because now we're finding evidence that there was transactions going on and it was pre-planned. Of course it was pre-planned. We all knew that because they were talking about it before it happened. I knew something was going to go down, but defecating on the Capitol, on the Capitol steps or in the hallways and smearing it, that tells me that these people are mentally ill. Trump supporters are mentally ill. There's something definitely wrong with them. They're in court, like crying now going, oh, well, it's the, the conditions here aren't good in jail and uh, well maybe you should have thought about that before you storm the capitol and trump even said i'll go with you i'll go with you to the capitol he didn't go he doesn't care about you guys he was sitting at home you know eating mcdonald's and just laughing i mean from what i understand he was just sitting there watching and going yeah yeah you know he's a pussy just like with vietnam how he got out of that i'm not saying that a lot of other people didn't as well i mean who wanted to go to vietnam but the man did not fight for his country. And he made up lame excuses um, about his feet, you know? Okay. And so this is my second vent. <laughs> there might be more. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to put some videos up along with this or a video of him just standing in front of this burnt out building with this stupid fucking gun. I'm here to, I was hired to defend. No, you weren't hired. No one put you there. No one paid you to do that. Okay, so now the Republicans like Matt Gaz or Matt Gaze or whatever the fuck that pervert is that hires little girls to cross county lines. Um, yeah, he's a, tra he's a trafficker. He's a piece of shit. Uh, there's cases going up against him, but he wants to hire the kid as like an assistant. See how sick our society is? I mean, it's absolutely insane. 
Like if you're totally insane and crazy and um, should be in a padded room, then you're part of the Republican Party and you're a Trump supporter and everyone's going to love you. Yeah. So this is your time. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Make yourself know. Make some videos of talking crazy shit. And you're going to get a lot of people that are just bowing down to you. Yes. Oh, and grab a gun and go shoot innocent people because you'll totally get off too. And you'll be, you'll be a hero. You'll totally be a hero. It's awesome. Fuck you. Fuck you all. This is bullshit. I don't like this country. I don't want to live in this country. This is crazy shit. And it's not going to change. It's just going to get worse. And you don't see this shit going down in the UK or Canada or, or Australia, any other country. They got rid of their guns. They're fine with it. Uh, once in a while, there's like a knife attack in England or Australia, whatever. But it's so freaking rare. It's so rare. And a few people will get killed at the most because how many people can you knife at the same time? Like people could run away from a knife. You know, if only a pussy shoots you in your back like Kyle Rittenhouse or just shoot you cold blooded. Just shoot you. Just boom, shoot you. He can't fight. As soon as they defend themselves, they were defending themselves. Um, so as soon as they defend themselves, you're allowed to just kill them. Okay, so I'm going to go pick a fight with somebody that I don't like and just, oh, oops, self-defense. Sorry, they were, they put their hand up and they were going to hit me. So I shot him in the head. That's not normal. That's not okay. That's not, a, that's not a normal, sane society. That's not how we act. That what are you doing out here? Obviously, you're armed, and uh, you're in front of this so, business we saw burning last night. So, what's up? So, people are getting injured, and our job is to protect this business, and part of my job our is job? to help people. There's somebody hurt. I'm running into harm. You're not a cop. That's why I have my rifle. You're a kid. I protect myself, obviously. But I also have my med kit. Protect We're protecting from the citizens, and I just got pepper sprayed by a person in the crowd. You so you had non-lethal, but you, you didn't respond. We don't have non-lethal. So you guys are full on ready to defend the property. Yes, we are. Now, if I can ask, can you guys step back? Medical. Dude, you're not a cop. I'm an EMT. You guys need a medic. This is before he killed two people and injured one. Yeah. Okay, so Ritter House is shooting people, shot in the chest, shot in the arm. So he injured quite a bit. Handgun is right there. So they're saying that, okay, there's Ritter House. What? And there he is, like, he's a hero or something, running down the street. Well, putting his hands up. Maybe set him back. What gave him the right to go there and defend anything? He was defending a building, not people. But his mommy drove him, so... I think they just walked his driver at Vine. It's no big deal, he's white. If he was black, this would be a whole other story. A whole other story. They just told him to get out of the road, though. But he was carrying an assault rifle, yeah. Look at him. Totally fine, because he's white. This is our country. 17 years old. He can't vote. He can't buy cigarettes. He can't drink. He can't serve in the military. But he can wander around with an AR-15 strapped over his shoulder. Welcome to America. As a veteran and a gun owner, I say this is how good guys with guns act, then take away the right to bear arms. Like punishing a toddler who can't seem to learn right from wrong. This is why we can't have nice things. Exactly. Because the motherfuckers like this. Yeah, great reporting. We all know what would have happened to him if he were black. We would be watching his funeral on TV. Oh, God. He would have been shot like a hundred times or more by everyone. Just everyone around him just would have been shooting. 
Here's what a good guy with a gun did nothing to help the situation. Yeah, a good guy, quote unquote. Exactly. He went in there to do what? He was protecting a building that was already on fire, was already put out. The fire was already put out. Three men shot, one or two, two dead. Kyle, the real world is not a video game. Yeah, he was acting like it was a video game. And what can you say about the police officers who gave him water and praised him and then rode past him? Yeah, rode past him. She spelled it wrong. And in the armored military vehicles, real brave protectors of the community. Oh, my God. Okay, let's watch this now. This right here, this is that new okay. Power Raid Power Wall. David Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. That's the first count of the information. Joseph Rosenbaum. Yeah, the, the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. What? As to the fourth follow. count of the information, Anthony Huber, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage okay. Grosskreutz, we the jury find the now defendant he, Kyle, H. Real price. Kyle H. Rittenhouse price. not guilty. Yeah, he Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? 